Hi everybody, this is Jamie the D, and welcome to Duskers, a very interesting game which I wanted to speak for itself. Uh, this is an early access review for the Mad Welshman, uh, or rather an early access first look. That's much better. So, uh, if we go into the volume, we will want to turn some things down. There we go. And I wanted to show you the difficulty options, because this is quite nice, uh, and also gives you warning of uh, problems that you could have in the game. So, I'm not going to change any of these for the purposes of this video, but normally I have radiation off. And we're not going to launch a training simulation. The tutorial is not bad, um, but you learn things pretty well as you go along, so long as you understa understand that uh, it's going to be console text output. Now, there is going to be words, and... Uh, if you want to read them, then by all means pause the video, but I'll basically summarize. So for example, um, hey, we're meant to explore and look around. Now we might be the last human being. And as you can see, uh, our main objectives right now are to find out what happened? Where'd everyone go? Was it the Grey Goo that we always feared? Was it a war? We, we don't know, um, especially since we're not a hero. We're a salvage barge. Um, you know, we, we have drones. And that's it. Um, so, five days... Hmm. Okay, so there are two views, schematic mode, like this, and robot mode, like this. Now, I happen to know that on the first playthrough, at least, everything is largely the same, except that upgrades like this are procedurally generated. So, probe is very interesting. I kind of like probe. Now, there are different drones with different abilities, and... Yeah. You've got to use console commands to, uh, Basically get everything done. Now, gather all. That, uh, pumpkin, it would be something different in the non-Halloween skin. Is fuel. Uh, or rather, a fuel point, not necessarily fuel. And hey, that was easy, wasn't it? So we use uh, Navigate 1 to R1 to get our two drones back. Uh, we can't unfortunately recover that drone. It's destroyed, and I'm not going to give you the heartbreak of knowing it ha well, knowing its name. However, our drones are John, Orson, and Tweaky. Bloody Tweaky. Giddy, giddy, giddy. What's up, Buck? <sighs> ah, dear. Um, oh, hey, the Cardiff! The Cardiff 2, in fact. Um, pretty much everything is in a straight line, so I'm not going to screw with that. Let's board the second ship. Now, each of our drones has hit points, it has speed, and ah, Captain Gene Vogel. Hopefully no relative of Jeff Vogel. Um, maybe a distant descendant, we'll never know. Uh, now I want to delay the gathering all until I've done a couple of things, because you see, you see, one, there is an open door. Now, in the early game at least, open doors are not necessarily bad news. But, uh, 
quite soon that as we powered up our local area, uh, each generator, by the way, only deals with a specific set of doors. Uh, we'll notice there's a disabled, not destroyed drone there. And if we hit the motion sensors, well, crap. So, uh, let's deal with what we can. Let's deal with what we can before we deal with whatever that is. We, we have no weapons, by the way. We do not start with uh, weapons. And while we could potentially get some... That's later. That's not now. Okay. So what we're going to do now is set the motion sensor, open up door D5, wait for room 5 to trigger the motion sensor, i.e., you know, for a whatever it is to explore room 5, which suddenly opened. Hmm. Maybe there's prey of some description. Uh, or in the case of the actual threat that it is, uh, targets. There we go. So we have trapped it, and by the way, moving will disrupt your motion sensors. You only have a limited amount. And hey, this is Rick. What's up, Rick? Oh, you're also a towing craft, and you've got a shield. I like you already, Rick. And apparently the rest of the ship is clear. So... Be warned, however, that while it's definitely clear on this ship, in this game, uh, your motion sensors won't always tell you the whole truth. Not everything that is a threat uh, starts in motion or stays in motion. So it's very important to uh, not trust, not rely on your motion sensors. Yes, that is the correct phrase. Uh, so Twiki, our big, strong, dumb one. Here's gonna get Rick. Back to R1. No. R1. And yes, my fumble fingers will become a problem. Uh, in fact, if you are not amazing at typing, um, or you have a lot of trouble, prepare for trouble yourself. Um, okay. Now, navigating away from a generator that uh, you're not going to be powering it anymore. Uh, nice. Now the thing is that unfortunately Rick is uh, actually quite damaged and as you can see we have rising chances of things going wrong. So that tow module on Rick, uh, that is at a 7% chance of failure right now, and this probe is at a pretty high percent chance of failure right now. So we're going to try and fix that, and that's probably going to bite me in the ass later on. Okay. Uh, this one, only one infestation. We've repaired Rick. Um, I'm not sure whether he needs a shield, to be honest. Generator guy. Orson seems like he needs a shield. Sorry, Rick. So we got two towers. No extra logs. Uh, there appears to be at least one room, and as you can see, Orson has the potential for a shield. Note that it is not always on. You do actually have to turn it on. It doesn't drain as far as I'm aware, but uh, you do have to turn it on. Uh, what I give for an interface, because this is a computer. If we had an interface port, 
we would be perfectly dandy. But we don't, and so I'm going to use my foreknowledge. Go, yep. Now the thing is, we, oh dear, I didn't want to do that. We do want to gather a mine from Holly there. And uh, you know what, I think Rick is up to the task. There we go. So controls are pretty simple. And uh, so in fact, here's the game. Now this, uh, not gonna lie, this module might break. However, we don't need to turn on our motion sensors because there we go. Proximity mine detonated. And we find extra scrap and the remains of a robot. Probably a very violent one at that. Now, unfortunately, uh, Gather All doesn't do very well when it comes to uh, our folks. Uh, when it comes to pathing into dro other droids. And once again, we're going to motion sensor. Yeah, I don't actually believe you. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to set a second mine and hope that my uh, controllers break. So D8. Oh, D8 is blocked. Well, let's D7 and hope for the best. Now, I... Yeah, there we go. That was another robot. As I said, there was only one infestation type, but that doesn't mean that it was only a single enemy. I'm pretty sure that's now clear, though. Notice I said I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm not 100%. But from here, it's all going to change. It's all going to be very different. And indeed, it's already somewhat different because on other runs, I've had interface instead of a probe uh, or a trap instead of a mine, which is a remote detonated explosive. I've had sensors. I've had lots of fun stuff. So, I'm still pretty sure that. Uh, yeah, can we uh, stop trying to close D8? Pretty sure D10 is safe, and if it isn't, I'm going to explode very soon. There we go. And uh, we've already explored everywhere else, so... Two, three, one, two, four, R1. And three... Tweaky. Yeah. I was sure there was an upgrade somewhere around here. In fact, I was almost certain of it. Blew it up? No, it doesn't appear to be. <laughs> and I don't think there's one down here either. They do have different uh, camera modules, uh, so things are differently coloured or differently sighted. As you can 
let's see. Um, and the video modules are just as prone to failure as the rest of them. So, ah, uh, no, it's the next one. Right, okay. Now, uh, we've traveled. Let's see, nobody's been hurt yet. Uh, we really need to... Why can we not? Oh. Oh. I think it failed. Oh, boo. Well, uh, that's gonna make things more awkward. Huh. The Crepuscular. Why, that's one hell of a ship name. So we're gonna have to play this one smart. And by the way, right now the game has definitely not taken its gloves off. It has definitely not taken its gloves off. You you will know when it takes its gloves off. So awesome. If you would do the honors of the generator. Then I would do the honors of saying yes. Now just in case there is Grade. I really want to trap any griblies in here because of that turret. Uh, now that upgrade is a remote power upgrade and we definitely want that because that will allow us to use the ship to power certain portions. And, uh, Scrap and fuel can be gathered, but only drones and uh, drones and ship parts like this can only be towed. So always keep that in mind. Okay, now we slowly back out. Turn on our motion sensor. Get ready on D11 because uh, we're going to be trapping things. There we go. Right. Okay. We're okay. There is nothing yet that can cut through bulkhead doors. See, there's an access terminal. We could have used one of them. But we definitely can use the fuel. Jeff, even. I'm so sorry. Alright, what does Jeff have on him? Pry. Ah, now that's kind of useful. Ah, uh, yes. I remember now. Right, so what we're going to have to do is, uh, first off, Tweaky is going to get her toe on. His toe on. Even. Oh dear. Giddy, giddy, giddy. Orson is gonna move, yeah, and disconnect from the power supply. And reconnect to this one. There we go. Tweaky is gonna tow that back to R1. And as soon as Tweaky is passed, there we go. Uh, now we know that, uh, yeah, it's inconclusive between D6 and, <sighs> but we're pretty sure that D4 is safe. Well, it is. So what we're going to do... Bites on D5. This might take a little while. There we go! Get out of here. And 
that should be everyone. Unless, of course, there's a horrible death pot waiting for me over here. But there isn't. So, one, two, R1. Tweaky, Rick, get in the back. Thank you. <sighs> and so ends the first sector. But, as I said, I'm going to keep playing until uh, a drone basically gets broken. And then, I'm going to show you what happens on a reset. Now, remote power is nearly always the first one you get. Uh, it's also going to tell us, oh hey, everything's been explored. Uh, we didn't learn much, though. Hmm. Oh well, maybe we'll learn something uh, over here. At this very large system with a stargate. Oops, I keep doing that. I'm sorry. Yep. Our basic fuel char uh, charges, and we also have reserve fuel. Uh, now, at the moment, we have a barge A that uh, we've visited. We, we've got 20 scraps, so we could repair a couple of upgrades. And to be honest, I'd really like to make sure that my motion sensors are working, um, are still working even. Our uh, tow is not so bad, that tow is kind of bad but it hasn't failed yet and we can't create anything yet, uh, anything of use anyway. So let us board the Pushpinder Singh very interesting name. And uh, let's also uh, put Pry on this, on Rick. Sorry, Jeff. Infestation types. 